everybody. Today I am making arroz con pollo. So it's chicken and rice. <laughs> um, I'm going to start off with in the quick cooker here with my whole chicken. If you've never made a whole chicken before, it's super easy to do in the quick cooker. Um, you can season it however you want. There's lots of ways you can season a, a whole chicken, but in 30 minutes, you can make your chicken and it is delicious and you really get to control the ingredients in it. So down in our six quart stainless steel pot here, I am going to add this little guy that comes with the quick cooker and that is what I am going to set the chicken on. Now you can put it down in the bottom of the pot. I tend to like it a little bit better when it's raised up just a little bit from where the water or broth, whatever you use for liquid in there. So I'm gonna attempt to put this in here. Yep, that's not gonna work. So we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of the chicken here and put it down in the pot. And we are doing it breast side up. All right. So now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and add in my seasonings and I'll show you here in just a second what I am using. This is the adobo seasoning and I'm putting in three teaspoons of that and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some fresh ground black pepper and my water. And I've got about four cups of water here this isn't the biggest chicken. You could actually cook up to a six pound chicken in here. Uh, maybe more if you took the rack out from underneath. Um, but I'm adding the water, about four cups, to about a four pound chicken. So now I'm just going to add on the lid here. I'll finish seasoning this in, in a second. So with this, I'm just going to use the custom setting and do the 30 minutes and push start. That's going to come up to pressure and then it'll cook for 30 minutes and then I'm going to let it naturally release. So it's actually creating its own broth down in there, which I'm going to use for the rest of my dish. It makes a great uh, chicken broth, homemade chicken broth. All right, that's the first step. Okay, so the next step in our arroz con pollo we're making is making the sofrito. So we are going to go ahead and make that in the manual food processor today. You can also make it in our blender. The blender is super powerful. So um, I decided I wanted it not quite as blended up. So I'm going to make it in the manual food processor and show you that. So we're going to start with our onion. And all I did was peel that and then go ahead and just chop it a few times. We're going to put that lid down on top. It doesn't screw on, it just sets on the top. And it's got three bowed blades in there. So it continues to mix everything and pull it up and, you know, really just do the mixing for you. So we're going to unlock the handle, which locks down in place, and just... Start pumping until you feel like it has started to uh, chop it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in, I've got some red bell pepper here. I'm just going to slowly add in these ingredients. I'm going to go ahead and add in our garlic. At this point, we're going to use the garlic press. And I'm going to add in two cloves. So here goes the first one. I didn't peel it or anything. It's Squeeze it together, use the little tool in the back here. We're gonna scrape that off. And then go ahead and scrape our peel off and do one more clove. This makes getting fresh garlic in your food super fast and easy. All right, let's go ahead and pump that a little bit. Set our lid down on top. And again, you could turn this around the other way and it would be great for a left hand. cilantro and capers 
which really just gives it nice salty flavor. And I'm gonna add in a little bit of tomato for the last part. And we're just gonna keep mixing that up until everything is nice and mixed. And that part is going to be used in uh, once the chicken is done in here, I'll take the chicken out. We're going to use the broth and we're going to strain the broth first. Use that, add in our sofrito mix and the rice and olives and let that cook while the chicken cools and I go ahead and tear that apart. Okay, so here is the final step of this meal. Oros con pollo. I have taken the whole chicken out of the quick cooker and it literally is falling apart. Here in just a minute when I get this rice started, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this all apart, pull the chicken off of it. Um, we are using the broth. I did strain the broth through a mesh strainer. I've got about four cups of it down in there. Here's the rest of it made really beautiful broth. And now we are going to go ahead and add in our rice, which I did um, go ahead and rinse that rice really good to get the starches off of it. If you don't rinse your rice, that is a really good tip for not having super starchy rice is just rinse, rinse, rinse it a lot. All right, so we've got our three cups of rice and about six cups of broth, which is a little more broth than I usually use in this uh, quick cooker when I'm making rice. but. That's what the recipe called for, so that's what I'm gonna add in there. Um, then I am going to go ahead and add in the sofrito, which again, that was red peppers, tomatoes, cilantro, capers, onion, garlic. I think that was everything. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add that in there. It actually made a lot, so I'm gonna save just a little bit the top, almost like a salsa. All right, and then I'm going to add in, this is the next step that it calls for. You can actually get this at Walmart and it calls for two of these packets. And yes, I'm sure it's not the best for you, uh, but it does have some really good spices in it. Um, I remember there's cumin in there and I think some paprika. I'm sure there's salt all kinds of goodness. And then last but not least, our green olives that I have sliced up. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that for just, it calls for four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do six minutes. We like to make sure our rice is really, really well done. I'm gonna do six minutes on custom. Uh, it's gonna come up to pressure still pretty quick because this is all pretty warm still with that broth being warm and the pan actually being warm. It'll come up to pressure, cook for six minutes, and then it'll be done. I'll release the steam and then add in the chicken. And there you have it. Bye, guys.